so it seems I'm back in the world of survival games again. This is Journey of Life, which has been in early access on Steam for I think two years now. Originally, I was not going to buy this, but I had some friends on my Discord say that they wanted to play it, but I bought a server for it, which is what I'm on now. It is a patron-only server, um, but my patron's available for $2 a month for everything it has to offer. I just thought I'd show you guys what this game has going on. So it's more of a... I hate saying realistic survival in games because games will never really be realistic, but it's on the more realistic side compared to some of the fantasy survival games. As you can see, I am grabbing fruit from a tree, they're falling, and I'm going to pick them up in a minute. Quick tip, the nearby tab over there can be toggled with N, and if you hit tab, you can actually drag things over into your inventory take these sticks. I already have enough fruit, but let me have some anyway. My water's low. Um, actually, my biggest complaint about the game so far is that the water drain is way too frequent. But anyway, back to the rest of things. Um, the idea behind the game is that you've left the world because, well, I should say the civilized world, because you're sick of the way things are going and you want to get away from it all. So you come to this island to build basically a commune where settlers will show up after a certain point and actually work for you. When I say settlers, I mean NPCs. Um, so something else that's interesting about this game, um, as you can see when I walk by this rock, it pops up on the nearby tab, so I can actually just click and drag it if I had the space. And when I go walk over by these plants and sticks, it will also pop up on the nearby tab. So you don't have to individually pick everything up, although you can. Um, something else is that these logs say they're breakable. You can chop these up and you can even put them into a sawmill. So the only reason I know so much about the game already from a first impressions video is because I set up the patron server and of course all of my friends and patrons got on there and they figured out how the game works for the most part. I was planning on playing a ton, but my PC died. Um, those of you who keep up with the channel know that my motherboard just, it, it was at the end of its, um, at the end of its life. So I lost a lot of gaming time. Oh hey, this is something new. People been busy building. Wow, this is like a, this is gonna be like a fort it looks like. So does this tell me who this belongs to? I don't think it does. But this is really cool. Who's is this? Is this maybe Du Lang's? Or Lachandra's? Or maybe this is Jax's? I don't know. But this is really neat. So yeah, the building system is similar, but not quite, to other survival games. You put down the blueprint and then you go back and build it with each individual piece, or you can tell your settlers to build it for you. But here's a look at some of the stuff you can expect. Um, you can stockpile things, so let me see if I can snoop into somebody's stockpiles here. Here's uh, some dry grass patches that have been left. Um, I'm gonna head over to Teddy's place and I'll show you Teddy's place because that is pretty cool. Oh look, he, it looks like he even tried to like put a path here, like he built where a path would be. Yeah, I gotta figure out who did this. This is nice. But uh, let's see, where are, where's the other place? Here it is. So this is one of the more pretty sites in the game and I think a lot of people flock here to set up camp just as we did. We have a settlement going. I actually haven't joined it yet because I haven't been able to be online when everybody else is and we can't figure out how to quite get it working with multiple settlements on the same server. But um, this is what Teddy's come up with. Look at this little fishing dock, little, you know, area. And then he's got his sawmill, which is what I was talking about. How cool is this? You can actually put those big logs here and it'll cut the logs into different sized planks which, here's the stockpile, he has stacked right here. It's like, <laughs> reminds me of like pieces of bacon. But yeah, he's got 46 planks in here, which is awesome. And then I think this is just the roof. Yeah, that's just the roof. But um, yeah, so the game does have, uh, wait, is this, this is the windmill. Okay, so this is the windmill. Uh, what's this? Powered crusher. See, I don't know what most of these things do because, oh no, I got booted. This, okay, this has been the problem that we have been coming across um, with, I'm not sure if it's just our server host, but I was on the Discord and, oh boy, 
I was on the Discord for Journey of Life. I recommend you guys join if you're interested. And I guess other people are having issues with getting booted when the game auto saves. I think that's the problem. So sorry for that brief interruption. But um, if you play on a multiplayer server, you should expect that. As far as I know, there is not any way yet to actually change the auto save time. I'm hoping that's going to come sometime in the future, but wait a minute. Did I? Where am I? This is not where I was. Wait, this is the spawn. So we're seeing typical early access shenanigans here. This is where I spawned when I first started the game, but at least this will give me a chance to show you some of the other landscapes. I'm not exactly happy that I spawned all the way back here, but it's okay. We'll roll with it. We'll just, we'll just roll with it. Um, there's a volcano. I don't think it's functional. You can run right over to it. Um, there are shipwrecks. There's diving. You can dive into these shipwrecks and get special items from them. Uh, as far as I know, the sea creatures do not attack you yet, so I'm not you know, I'm not sad about that. You all know how I am with sea creatures coming after you. Oh, and now I'm back. Okay, that was really weird. Um, well, hey, at least I got to show you that for a second. Um, so yeah, definitely expect these weird early access things. Um, let me talk about that for a minute. So I was a little bit worried. Well, actually, while while I talk about that, I want to go find Mel's place because he has built this paradise. I have screenshots on the Discord of what he's built. It's amazing, but I need to find it, and I'm not sure where exactly he's located, so uh, we'll just go for a stroll. I'll show you some of the game, and we will find Mel's place. Um, so basically, I was going to hard avoid this game because two years in early access is a long time to be in early access and still be in the state that this game is in. I guess different games are going to progress at different paces as they go through early access, but um, I was doubtful at first when I bought this and I started playing it. But the more you get into it, the deeper you see it goes. So let me show you technology. There are technology trees. So you have metallurgy. You have, you know, primitive things, wooden shovels, you can harvest clay, you can make an ore crushing station, cloth weaver, you can make clothes. There are pigs, um, bears and wolves, snakes, seagulls that you can hunt. Um, here's a pottery station, you can make pottery. That's the most <laughs> interesting thing I want to see at Mel's place is he made a ton of pottery from the screenshots that I could see. Um, you can make a farm plot, you can grow mangoes, I assume. So there is, there are things here, you know, there are things that you can do. Um, there's anvil, plank steamer, I believe there's an animal pen you can make. So of course, that's what I'm gonna try and do. But yeah, I was not going to buy this. And then I saw everything that you can do. You can have settlers that live you know, with you, and PC settlers that live with you. And once your settlement hits a certain point, here, I'll show you this really quickly, so settlement tab. In order to make a settlement, you need a water tower and a farm plot, and then you put the flag down kind of thing. I've noticed that you can go into people's settlements and just take their things. I'm not sure multiplayer has been 100% thought out yet. Um, but that leads me back to what I was talking about. And that is that there is a huge code rewrite going on right now, meaning that the developers um, have decided to rewrite the base code or the blueprints of the game or something. I only read about it briefly on the Discord. Um, this is conjecture. I don't know if this is actually what the problem is. Please let me up. Please let me up. Thank you. Hello. Um, but they mentioned that the save system was causing issues, which would make sense because that's what we've been having the most trouble with um, since we started playing this game is the save problem. So that could be part of it. Uh, they also said they want to redo the landscape, which I'm not entirely sure what that means or the, the way things are set up. I'm not sure, but I'm really excited for it. Um, hold on, where's my inventory? I need to eat some fruit. So, uh, I'll just eat them all, fill up my hunger completely, take some of these. Or hunger, thirst. Basically, thirst is your biggest struggle in this game. There isn't really anything else that's challenging beyond just figuring out how things work. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, there are ways to eat coconuts, but I don't have any tools on me right now, so I can't really 
do that. Wait, why did no fruits drop? What a ripoff. <laughs> so yeah, that big code rewrite is coming. We don't know when it's coming, but I plan on keeping this server up for patrons throughout all of that as we see what happens. Um, I'm wondering where Mel's place is exactly. If I run out of things to talk about while I look for Mel's place, I will just cut to where I end up finding it. Um, I think he's on like a bluff overlooking the water, so that's what I'm looking for right now. But yeah, you will notice this is not like Atlas or Ark or Conan Exiles even, where things are trying to kill you and eat you. This is not like Green Hell, where things are trying to kill you and eat you every second and parasites are sucking on your blood and things like that. This is a little bit more of a relaxing game. So if you're the kind of gamer who needs like constant- ooh, why am I rubber banding? Yikes. Um, if you're the kind of gamer who needs like constant challenge or threats, then this probably is not your cup of tea at this point. Um, I haven't experienced what the pirates are like when they come and try and raid your settlement, but I guess that's something I can look forward to. Something else I would also like to know from you all is if you would be interested in a series of me doing this game. I know things have been a little shaky with series lately. The Subnautica, uh, if you didn't watch my update video, basically what happened with Subnautica is that my PC kept blue screening. That was not just because my PC was dying, it has to do with the AMD graphics cards in Subnautica, and I've tried reverting the graphics card to previous versions, I've tried everything, and I just can't get it working. So I'm concerned that I'm, I'm not going to be able to play Subnautica at all. I can run Subnautica on my laptop, but I cannot record at the same time on my laptop, it's too laggy. So that's really unfortunate, I'm really sad about that. Um, if any of you have any suggestions about why is this happening? If any of you have any suggestions about what I can do to get Subnautica going, please, please comment down below. Um, I was really excited to play that game. But anyway, back to this game. Um, still not finding Mel, so I'm gonna have a bit more of a run around and I will cut to when I find his place. Okay, so I have not been able to find Mel's place. I'm gonna have to ask him when he's online. He's in a different time zone, so I think he's sleeping right now. But um, I can show you that in another video. But what I can show you right now is that we are by the shipwreck again. Um, I can go in the water really quickly and show you a little bit about that. But yeah, it's really slow to swim. I'm hoping maybe one day we'll be able to get some fins or something and get down here. I don't have any tools to open up what might be down here, but um, from what I hear from the guys on the server, there are boxes that you can open that give you things like hinges or special metal items. Please let me take a breath. Okay, there we go. But as you can see, nothing's trying to kill me. No bad stuff. So this is really relaxing, honestly, to just be able to come chill and not be chased, although it may not be um, super exciting for some. So here's what the shipwreck looks like. Let's see, what else can I show you all as I sign off? There is weather in the game, so it does rain. It looks like it actually might be getting ready to rain, so that might happen before I get to shore. But uh, anyway, this was just a quick look at Journey of Life, so definitely know in the comments down below if you want me to make my own settlement from scratch and see how that works out, maybe something like that, or I can just join up with the guys and see how they're doing. Um, I found that it's not really the kind of game where you need a ton of people in order to get stuff done. I mean, the guys here have been playing for a few hours separately, sometimes together, and they've been able to complete a lot of things. Here little crabs. They're pretty quick. Um, you can pick up seashells and throw them at things. That's kind of cool. So anyway, <laughs> what do you think of the journey of life? I know it has a pretty active community right now, so I definitely recommend checking out the Discord if you want some more information, or you can just ask me questions or even join my Discord and ask people questions about it there. So thank you all so much for watching this video. As always, the links to all of my socials are in the description box down below. I'm going to keep messing around here and see if I can't find Mel's place to show you all or maybe just post a screenshot on my YouTube community or something about it. So anyway, I will see you all in the next video.